Good day, grade 12. So as we continue to get the structure of this document sorted out, we now have our cover page. We've got our automatic table of contents. We've got our table of figures. And now we want to head over to the last thing that was really required, well, not last thing, but one of the big things that was required of us, because look there under create a report, we've got a cover page, automatic table of contents, automatic table of figures. And now we want to get to the headings. Now, we already have two of them. Just going to keep doing this. Um, we've already got that there. Now we're going to move to a new page. And ideally, you should have these headings one on each new page. So what do they want? The first one is going to be the introduction. So I'm going to be typing in there introduction. And then what do they want? Task definition. Uh, focus. Question. Oops. Discussion and analysis. Findings. Conclusion. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. Conclusion. Um, and then bibliography and appendices. Okay. So we've got all our headings there. Now we want them all on a different page. So I'm just going to just create some space there and then we can format all of them and then move them over to wherever we want them to be. So I'm just going to highlight all of these headings and I'm just doing this with keeping control down and then left clicking on them. And I'm going to go and choose one. Now again, you can customize whatever you want. I'm just going to go with a simple heading two and you can see it's a different font and it's going to be bigger than the normal text. And then literally all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to move this down. Like, I mean, that's it to where, to where I want it to be. That's sort of okay there. Focus question on the next page. Discussion and analysis on the next one. Findings on the next one. Conclusion on the next one. And then bibliography and appendices. So now I've got my headings in place one on each page and again you might have to add headings as you go along through this but there we go and this is why i said some headings will not be here until phase two or three but those are the provisional headings that i have to have in place and again i'm going to my rubric in phase one let's see i know there was something here Okay, so there I've got a mark. Why? Because I've got the minimum headings present. Table of contents, figures, introduction. So I can even go and say, okay, well, you know what? Um, I want this for the table of figures as well. And then I'm going to have that underneath there. Um, you know, depending on what you want. And then just make sure you've got your table of contents. And we just want to make sure everything is formatted the same. Done. So you can see now in my document, I've got my cover page, table of contents, table of figures. And obviously the table of figures will move down as the table of contents fills up. My introduction, task definition, all my headings are in place. So I've got basically my structure now sorted out. And the next thing will, will be us looking at the topic again as we start to formulate our task definition and focus question.